All the same safety and efficacy trials are required for an EUA as an FDA approval. So what is the difference? Basically what happens is that in a regular FDA approval, you do everything stepwise. All the trials are done, then you produce the medication, then you release it. But in a EUA, which is used specifically for emergencies like pandemics and biologic warfare, you can overlap the trials with the production time. So while these trials were being undertaken, the vaccine was being produced in mass just in case it was effective and safe so that it could quickly be gotten out to the general public. Obviously, this is an incredible financial risk to anyone who is funding this production and trial because if it doesn't work or it's not safe, then you have all of these doses of a vaccine that you can't use. You basically are removing some of the administrative process, some of the red tape, and allowing overlap of those two processes to happen at the risk that you may lose out if it's not safe or effective.